Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it's Friday. So you know what that means. It is weigh in, it is talking about my week and it is the WW workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on because we do a weigh in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. Highly recommend personalized macros and calories. This is how I've lost and maintained 840 pound weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to talk with me directly and ask your questions. Links and discounts to my favorite things and of course my Facebook group. Come on over, join us there is all down in the description box. So let's talk about my week post-vacation weigh-in and the week Weight Watchers workshop topic. So I'm excited to share with you the pieces that I picked up from Cupshe. I am excited to curate my fall wardrobe and I have purchased from Cupshe multiple times in the past and I have really enjoyed everything from the brand. It is very, very affordable. They are size inclusive and they have a lot of great new fall pieces. So the first piece I picked up is actually what I'm wearing today. Now I purposely did not put a cami under this because I wanted to see if it was as see-through as I thought that it would be. And you can see she's definitely see-through. I do have a green bra on. You can see that through the sweater. Now it does have this crochet type of material. So I expected that. So definitely would recommend wearing some type of tank top or cami underneath. But this is the coffee cutout crochet one shoulder sweater. It is $29.99 before any discounts comes in sizes extra small through extra large. This is very cute and very comfortable. It is very, very soft to the touch. I do love the whole vibe of the balloon sleeves and then the fact that it's off the shoulder but also has the strap which keeps it in place. A lot of times with off the shoulder things, they'll just kind of flop around, but this strap lays nicely over your shoulder and keeps it off the shoulder and in place. I picked mine up in a size medium and I feel like it fits me perfectly. This is an oversized sweater. So if you're in between sizes, size down, but a medium for me is perfect. Again, you just wanna wear some type of tank top or cami underneath. And then I also wanted to get a black sweater, something really thick, really chunky. And I saw this one on the website and I not only loved how chunky it was, but I loved the back detailing of this sweater. This is the Onyx Chunky Knit Sweater. $25.99 before any discounts. Actually comes in four different colors in sizes extra small through extra large. Now the front of it sits really nicely across the chest, but what I loved about it was the back. So it has this V-neck back and then it has this knotted design right here. It sits really, really cute on the back. Now, could you turn this around and wear it this way? Probably. Again, this is a pretty deep V as you saw in the try-on, so you'd probably want a tank top underneath, but you could certainly, I'm assuming, reverse this to whatever way works best for you. I love the cuff wrist and that little bit more ballooned sleeve. I didn't find this one to be see-through and the length of this is cute. It's cropped but not cropped. So it actually sits right below the waist. So it's really cute with jeans and leggings. It would be really cute with a skirt as well. This is really nice and I can see myself wearing this a lot this fall and winter. And then I 100%, 100% had to get a shacket. Now, you know I live in Arizona so we don't get winter here per se. It can get cold overnight but then it warms up during the day. So I wanted a shacket to wear on the cooler days and I wanted something oversized, chunky, and long that would be so cute with leggings or faux leather leggings and this shacket does not disappoint. I love the plaid design of this. It is so soft. This is the plaid button front flannel shacket. It is $35.99 again before discounts. Comes in sizes extra small through extra large. I picked mine up in a size medium and I 100% could have sized down to a small. I would say that this runs very oversized. Now make sure you're reading the reviews and the size guide on Cupshe's website. That is what I did to choose my sizes. But again, this I feel like is very oversized. I do, however, love the length of this 
and the quality, the quality of this, I mean, you guys, it's lined on the inside. It is such amazing quality. This is something you would pay upwards of $100 for at a department store, and Cupshe has it for about $35. Again, there is, I do have a discount for you guys. I'll put it down below along with links to everything I'm sharing with you, but this is a winner winner. This is absolutely adorable. I love the coloring of this. I love how buttery soft it is, how warm this is. Can't wait to wear this all season. Speaking of skirts, I had to pick this skirt up. As soon as I saw it on the website, I fell in love with it. It's a little corduroy wrap skirt, and it is so nice. It even has a zipper in the back, so it is nice, high quality. I love this button detail down the skirt. This is the corduroy button front mini wrap skirt. It's only $17.99 and comes in sizes extra small through extra large. Now, I picked mine up in a size large and it is too big for me. I didn't even have to unzip it to pull it on. I just pulled it right on. So I should have gotten a medium in this. So again, if you're in between sizes, size down. What I really like about this skirt, besides how cute it is and the detailing, the quality is really nice, but it is a lighter weight corduroy. It's not one of those really heavy corduroys. It's a little bit lighter weight and it's so soft. It's like suede feeling. It's really cute. It's really cute. Even though it says it's a mini, for me being 5'8", this dropped on almost to my knees. So definitely not mini skirt vibe. So if you're not into mini skirts, this is, I would say is more of a mid length skirt. It's so, so cute. And wait until you see the cute top I paired this with. We need a turtleneck for fall and winter. And this is a mock neck turtleneck sweater. It is long sleeved. It is so soft. It is so, so comfortable. It's on the lighter side. So it's not going to keep you warm on a freezing cold winter day. It is a little bit on the thinner side, but it pairs so cute with this skirt. I could see me wearing this under that jacket. Also with a denim jacket by itself with leggings or jeans. This is the Onyx rib turtleneck sweater. It is also only $17.99. Comes in sizes extra small through extra large. I picked mine up in a size large. Now this fit me really well. However, I will tell you right out of the gate, that the sleeves on this are very tight, the arms of this. I do not have big arms and this is skin tight on me and it is definitely fitted. So if you don't like a fitted fit and skin tight sleeves, size up. So I could have gotten an extra large and it probably would have fit a little bit better in the arms, but it's not uncomfortable. It's just snug, but the body of this fits really nice. I think it's very figure flattering. I love the turtleneck vibe of this. And can we just talk about how cute it is with the corduroy skirt? So I'm glad that I grabbed this, but again, if you're in between sizes, size up. If you want a looser fit, especially in the arms, size up. So that is everything that I picked up for fall and winter from Cup Sheet. I love this sweater that I'm wearing. I love the skirt, the jacket, everything else. The quality is impeccable. The sizing is fantastic. It's size inclusive and super, super affordable. And don't forget, I do have an additional discount code for Cup Sheet. I will link it down below for you along with direct links to everything that I shared with you in today's video. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an absolutely fantastic, amazing, wonderful week. I had a really, really good week. If you follow me here, you know that I recently traveled to a nutrition conference in California over the weekend. And guess who I met? Guess who I met? And guess not only who I met, but I took a photo with Dr. Now from My 600 Pound Life. He is everything you would expect him to be. He's a little guy, like a real little pocket-sized guy. He is funny with a very dry sense of humor. It doesn't have a lot of expression. Even when I asked him to take a photo with him, he kind of just looked at me and then stood there. Then I just put my arm around him and thanked him for the photo, but he's pretty much what you see on TV is what you get. So he did speak at our conference about the obesity epidemic in the US and in other countries, as well as he did a little Q&A session about his starring in the My 600 Pound Life show. He talked about some of his most memorable people that he worked with and some of his successes and failures. It was just really exciting to meet him and then learn a little bit more about him in the Q&A session. And the conference itself was really, really fantastic. Now I did vlog the first day traveling to the conference, kind of a what I eat in a day while traveling. That video will be out this Sunday for you. So a little extra bonus what I eat in a day this week. You'll see kind of how I prep and plan and what I eat while traveling. One meal was provided to us and the rest of our meals were on our own. So I ended up eating out for most of my meals. I was smart and packed snacks and I also packed protein shakes in order to have a protein coffee every morning, lots of protein 
bars. I really just set myself up for success the best that I can when traveling. So again, stay tuned for the What I Eat in a Day While Traveling coming out this Sunday. Also, speaking of traveling, I head to Hawaii and just in two weeks from today, I'm so excited to go to Hawaii. I'm having a little girls trip and I cannot wait. So I will of course be prepping and preparing for that. I won't be vlogging my trip. However, I will be sharing photos and reels and videos and things over on Instagram and in my Facebook group. So make sure you follow me in both of those areas. I do wanna share with you how the weekend went as far as food goes, what happened with my weight. But before I do, let's chat about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. And I'm actually really excited about this topic and this is how to organize your kitchen for weight loss success. You know, one of my favorite quotes to say is fail to plan, plan to fail. This also pertains to your kitchen. You can actually tweak the design of your interior spaces, kitchen, and really the rest of your help house to help you succeed on your weight loss journey. Here's some tips to think about on how to create a healthy living space, kitchen included. Try this. Create visual cues for what you want to do. Place a bowl of fresh fruit on the kitchen counter or bring zero point foods to the front of your fridge or pantry and post your weekly dinner plan on the fridge. Help out the future you. Store your meal prep tools where they're easy to access. After cleaning up dinner, take out what you need to make breakfast and before going to bed, fill and chill a large bottle of water for the next day. You can also disrupt a default habit that you want to change. Stash foods you mindlessly overeat in rarely used cabinets or in the back of the fridge. Portion out snacks from large packages right after grocery shopping and make your dining room or kitchen table the only place you eat when you're home. I have to tell you that I really like this topic and every single one of these things I have implemented in my weight loss journey. We always have a fresh bowl of fruit out on our counter. All of my healthy options are front and center in my fridge, in my pantry, and all of the less healthy things are towards the back. Out of sight, out of mind is a real thing, especially when it comes to structuring your pantry and your refrigerator. I always have cold water in the fridge. I have my meal prep items right in the front. I have all my tools, easy access. These tools, honestly, coming from someone who has been on a weight loss journey for a very long time and someone who's lost and maintained 140 pounds, these tips and tools are instrumental in weight loss. If you put cookies and candy on your kitchen counter or front and center, when you walk into that room, that's the first thing that your eyes are going to go to and that's the first thing you're going to want to have rather than the healthier option. Same goes for your pantry and refrigerator. You can harness healthy choices by making them easy and accessible. Everything you need for your weight loss journey should be accessible to you. You shouldn't have to think twice. You shouldn't have to dig for those items. They should be front and center to help you succeed. You can even keep your favorite cookbook on the counter, your grocery list, your recipe list on the fridge, and you can even leave your favorite water bottle out on the counter to remind you to refill it for the next day. Organize your kitchen and your home to help you reach your goals. I feel like this is one of the most important things you can do on a weight loss journey. I always have my space set up for success because again, these tools and tips, I've used every single one of these to reach my weight loss goal. Speaking of tips, I do wanna share with you three fast facts from Weight Watchers. Number one, the easier a choice is, the more likely you are to make it. Number two, the distance between you and your food options influences what and how much you eat. And number three, visibility, what you see, plays a role in at least 80% of your thoughts, perceptions, learning, and actions. 80%. So 80% what's in front of you influences your choices. That's again why it's important to have the things that help you with your weight loss and health journey front and center. I think this topic should be talked about more because it's not just about the food you eat or your mindset. It's also about creating a space that benefits your health goals. And I love this topic. And like I said, I've utilized all of these tips on my weight loss journey. Speaking of weight loss journey, Let's talk about my way in. So like I mentioned, I just came back from traveling. I returned pretty late on Sunday night. And as always, whenever I travel, I just get right back on track when I get home. I will tell you, I ate out for almost every single meal. I just did my best to make healthy choices. Again, you'll see that in Sunday's What I Eat in a Day vlog. But I also had dessert. I also had treats. I had coffee. I had all the good things. I definitely don't limit or restrict myself on vacation. I just try to follow kind of my 80-20 approach. 80% normal foods that I would eat, healthy foods, making healthy choices, and then 20% fun foods or vacation foods. So when I got home Sunday night, I did not weigh myself. Like I said, it was pretty late. I immediately went to bed. 
I was really tired. It was a very, very long day of travel, but I did weigh myself Monday morning. And when I stepped on the scale Monday morning, I was actually up one pound. So one full pound increase on the scale. Now, knowing that I didn't eat enough over my vacation, over a four day period to gain a pound, I figured that was just a weight fluctuation from traveling, different foods, maybe more sodium than normal. So I just let it be. I didn't let it affect me. I never let the scale affect me because I know that the scale is the least important measurement of our overall success. I got back on track. I actually went to the gym Monday, continued on with my normal workouts the rest of the week. And when I stepped on the scale today, not only did I lose the pound that I gained, pound weight fluctuation that happened after my weigh-in, I'm actually down an additional 0.4 pounds. So I am 0.4 pounds lighter than I was before vacation. So like I said, it's a weight fluctuation, not a weight gain. We have to remember that weight fluctuation is very, very, very normal, especially after a meal that we don't normally eat, foods that we don't normally eat, a vacation, a little trip, some time off of tracking or exercising, a weight fluctuation is likely going to happen, but it's just that a fluctuation. And typically it goes away with just within just a few days. Honest, full transparency, that one pound was gone by Wednesday. So it only took a couple of days for that to go away. And then my weight just trended down a little bit more by today, Friday, my weigh-in. So I'm really happy with my weigh-in results. I'm happy with being down 0.4. And it's just proof that weight fluctuations are nothing to worry about. Don't stress yourself out about the scale. There's better things in life to worry about than the number on the scale. If you guys are interested in a video about weight fluctuations and kind of how I learned to be okay with them on the scale, let me know. That's definitely a video that I can put out for you guys. Just let me know down in the comments. And of course, I want to hear from you. How was your week? How was your weigh-in? Was it what you expected? And what are some of your tips and tricks to set your space up for weight loss success? And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on because we do a weigh-in every Friday. And again, I upload upload five videos every single week. You also want to be notified for Sundays what I eat in a day while traveling. Check out the description box down below for everything from Cupshe. I will link the discount code, all of the links to my pieces. If you want to shop them directly and the link to this collection overall will be down in the description box. Along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my other favorite things. And don't forget to come follow me on TikTok. And don't forget, join my Facebook group. We would love to have you. Happy Friday, friends. Have an amazing Friday, and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.